assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Udo technical developer in the previous video we have discussed about how to add a custom model and also we have added two fields uh, inside the custom model we also discussed about some of the attributes and of uh, the of fields and also we discussed about some of the attributes of the model in this video we are going to talk about um, actions and menus so we uh, have also a video on actions and men menus uh, you can also watch uh, that video for uh, the basics uh, uh, about uh, menus and actions in this video we uh, will add menu uh, menu items and uh, actions for this custom model so as i uh, told you before that uh, uh, we are following this Odoo uh, document standard documentation to uh, develop custom module so uh, actions and menus are regular record in in the database usually declared through data files so uh, what does this mean that uh, data files are uh, uh, the XML file uh, we defined here uh, we also added uh, in this OD sales module in the view section uh, we can see product extension that XML so product extension all the XML files are data files so uh, action and menus uh, are defined inside the XML files action can be triggered in three ways so uh, there can be three ways to call an action uh, first is uh, to um, call by a menu item when you click on uh, a menu item an action is being called uh, second one is uh, to add the actions or to call the action through a button inside the view and uh, the uh, third option is to uh, call the action through contextual action so uh, let me just uh, show you uh, here uh, for example uh, this is a menu item uh, orders and quotations quotations so when we click on the quotations so uh, a, an actions is triggered and uh, this data is deep, uh, displayed but uh, another option is uh, by clicking a button so for example uh, here uh, when we go to the orders and uh, let me just open as uh, an order this one so if, if i click this uh, create invoice button so a new view is displayed this uh, is because uh, i'm clicking this button an action is called and that action displays this uh, uh, form view uh, so after that uh, we can also uh, do the same using the contextual actions so what are contextual actions for example if I uh, click this this actions menu is a contextual menu if I create uh, generate a payment link so a new view will be open up this means that clicking this uh, contextual action uh, is calling an action at the backend so what i will do i will uh, just add uh, first of all i will add menu item and then we will uh, add an action uh, on that menu item so that we can uh, create records and view the records so uh, actually uh, in order to define a menu item we need to write at uh, this take a uh, menu item take uh, uh, which uh, is defined on the ir.ui.menu model so this is the model core uh, model which is the part of the ORM and connect it to the corresponding action so we will connect it to the action uh, that we want to display for example in this example we can see menu item id is equal to menu idea ideas you can just define any name for uh, the action for the menu item but uh, it should be unique per module inside the module you cannot define two menu item with the same same name uh, but you can uh, define the name just uh, according to the functionality of the menu item uh, parent is another attribute uh, parent uh, you will have to define in case if you want to add it under some other menu item name is uh, the string which will appear 
uh, on the view to the user sequence means the order of the menu item so if you want to add uh, and action is uh, actually uh, the id of the action uh, which you want to call by clicking this menu item so if i uh, open up this one and i uh, open this one and if uh, action quotation i can see quotation is the uh, name of the menu item id is at the back end uh, which we can check also parent uh, is menu root so in this case the quotations parent menu item is orders so order is the parent one and uh, orders parent menu item is sales so this is the uh, sequence so sequence means uh, for example uh, this men these are the menu items there are four one and uh, the sequence of customers uh, should be greater than quotation so this will be like one two three four so um, customer should have uh, uh, four uh, sequence and action is uh, for example when i click on the quotations um, this is display displayed so when i click on the debug so you can check the action here so this is the action that is being called uh, when you click on this menu item so let me uh, there there is one uh, important thing the action must be declared before its con corresponding menu item in the xml file so while defining an xml file like let me open it up uh, you need to define first uh, the uh, action and then you need to add the menu item the reason behind this is that uh, data files are executed sequentially so it is uh, executed from top to bottom the actions id must be present in the database before the menu can be created so whenever uh, you uh, upgrade the module uh, this file will be executed from top to bottom and first uh, the database will uh, recognize this one and then it will add a uh, it will check uh, in the database that whether this action is available in the database or not therefore you need to mention you need to add this before uh, the menu item so the, uh, in this exercise we are going to uh, add uh, menu items and uh, uh, some action so define a new entry to access courses under the open academy uh, menu entry a user should be able to display the list of the uh, courses and create modify the courses so what we need to do we need to first create a, a view directory and then we will create a open academy.xml file so let me just go to the py charm and create a new directory uh, name uh, views sorry views let me just you can change the name from here also views so it is uh let me just select show the preference short command so let me just change it and then uh i will add open academy xml file uh file open academy dot xml so i've added an xml file inside it so let me just uh add the basic code for it uh Odoo. Odoo and inside Odoo I need to define the uh, XML code and then uh, what I need to do I need to create the manifest file which we have already added this is the manifest file and uh, what I need to do inside the manifest file I need to add this data file inside the manifest file what is the way how I can add it for example this is the manifest file let me just copy it first uh, copy it uh, sorry copy it like this one and then open the manifest file and in the uh, data section i will add this uh, xml file i will add the whole path like views and then uh, paste the name this is the name of the xml file so after that what we need to do in the open uh, academy.xml file what i need to do i have to add three menu items why are i am adding a three menu items because uh, in this case if i check if i click this one i can see sales and then inside sales there is an orders and inside orders we have quotation 
so we will create same uh, like this one the sales menu this will be the parent menu uh, we will create open academy and then orders uh, or which will also be as open academy and inside order we will create uh, quotations like the name will be uh, courses so uh, let me just create this one uh, and i will uh, copy it from here this is the uh, menu item this is the first one let me just edit uh, copy it and then add in open the xml file uh, and let me edit here so i can see uh, then id of the um, menu item take and then id is main open academy menu and then this is the uh, string that will appear on the view uh, and after that uh, i will add another menu item which will be the child of this uh, main menu item so let me just uh, edit here and uh, let me just add some styling so open academy menu this is the main menu and this is the child of this menu so the parent of this uh, the parent of the this uh, menu will be main menu academy so i have added this menu id inside uh, as a parent of this one so after that uh, the third one uh, which is the uh, where i have to call the action so um, this one is uh, the menu where i will call the action so let me just add some identification and uh, this one so uh, here i did uh, not call any action and also this uh, same is uh, in this one because i don't want to add uh, i don't want to display any view in this case uh, these are just uh, the views and inside this i will call the action a course list action which will display for me all the uh, views so in courses uh, this is the id this is the name and this is the parent so this is the parent of this one and uh, uh, in after that i will add uh, an action so this is the syntax of uh, the action i will explain this in a bit for example uh, for action what i need to do for uh, first of all i need to add uh, uh model this is the id which uh, should be unique uh same like the uh, uh menu items uh id so it should be unique per uh module this is the name uh, which will be which will be displayed here like uh in this case this is the name of the action and uh, this is the model where we want to uh, uh this model uh, is to fetch the data from this model and uh, views mode means uh, in which uh, format you want to uh, show the data so i want to show the data in tree view and form view inside the tree view uh, this uh, is the sequence also the view se sequence if you add tree view first so we will be able to see tree view first and then form you uh, this is another take to show something on the screen if there is nothing inside this model so create the first course so let me just uh i've added this inside the manifest file so let me just uh, uh restart the server and then upgrade this module so let me just go to apps and then search for the app so this one and then upgrade it so once uh, we will upgrade it then we will see the change uh, that we want uh, so let me just click here uh, i cannot see nothing because uh, i don't have access to this uh, model i don't have access to open academy.course model which we have added here so let me just uh, show you from the technical settings that uh, what menu we have added uh, go here into the technical settings and here you will see menu items so if we click here uh, open academy 
open academy so we can see open academy open academy slash open academy so we have added this menu item so what uh, we will do in order to show this menu item uh, because this uh mr urban would have access to the model so let me just make myself as a super user so that i can see the uh, menu item so if i click here i can see open academy so bang if i click here i can see same like the sales module i can see this one and then this one open academy and if i click here i can see courses when you see uh, i click on the courses menu i can see this view so this create button is making uh, me able to create the course and here uh, if i open this one i can see this one create first course so this is the same thing create for first course and let me just click here i can see the default auto form view so name of the course is uh auto 13.0 technical course and description is uh auto course by auto discussions so let me just save it and then go to back here so i can see in the list view i can see this in the course name and in the upcoming video we will add uh, some more views type also uh, we just added uh, nothing else in this video we just added the menu item and the action we will also add some um, views like form view tree view kanban view and uh, also some other views so thank you for uh, watching this video please like this video and subscribe our channel to get the updates of the upcoming videos